Good morning everyone. This is Saujinya working as assistant professor in CSC department. In today's class we are learning about the National Institute of Standard and Technology which is a cloud computing reference architecture. The, this NIST has been designated by Federal Chief Information Officer Vivek Kundra with technical leadership for U.S. government agency. Efforts related to the adoption and uh, development of cloud computing standards. The goal is to accelerate the federal government's adoption of secure and effective cloud computing to reduce the cost and improve the services. Then, according to the NIST model, what is the definition of cloud computing we need to learn now? Cloud computing is a model for enabling ubiquitous, convenient, on-demand network access to a shared pool of configurable computing resources like uh, network, servers, storage, applications and servers that can be rapidly provisioned and re released with minimal management effort or service provider interaction. This NIST has been has the major actors, um, their activities and functions in the cloud computing. Means the NIST architecture identifies the major actors, their activities and functions in the cloud computing. This architecture facilitates the understanding of the requirement uses, characteristics and standards of cloud computing. Basically, this cloud, NIST model having the five actors those are cloud consumer, provider, carrier, auditor, and broker. Each actor is an entity or a, it is a person or an organization that participates in a transaction or process and or performs some tasks in the cloud computing. This is a cloud reference architecture. Just now we learned that uh, this NIST architecture is having the five actors. One is cloud co consumer, cloud provider, cloud broker, cloud carrier, and cloud auditor. Each actor will perform some transaction or process to complete one of the tasks in the cloud computing. Right? The next we are learning the actors. What is the each actor will be do, do in this uh, cloud computing? Cloud computer. Sorry, cloud consumer. A person or organization or organization that maintains a business relationship with the user service from cloud providers means the cloud consumer will take the uh, services from the cloud provider for business relationship uh, and next one is the cloud provider the cloud provider is a person or organization or entity which is responsible for making services available to the interested parties means to the consumers what are the next actor is the cloud auditor, a party that can conduct independent assessment of cloud services, information system operations, performance and security of the cloud implementation. Next is the cloud broker, an entity that manages the use, performance and delivery of cloud services and negotiates the relationship between the cloud provider and the consumers. Cloud carrier, an intermediate that provides connectivity and transport of cloud services from cloud provider to the consumer. So in this way, each actor will uh, perform some action in the cloud computing. Next, uh, these are the interaction between the actors in the cloud computing. For those are the five actors, how it will be act and how it will be communicated or transfer the data between these all the providers, cloud consumer, cloud broker, cloud auditor, cloud provider and cloud carrier. See that the blue line from the cloud consumer to the provider, the communication part between the cloud provider and the cloud consumer. Right? Next one is orange, the communication path for a cloud auditor to collect the auditing information. Then the communication path for a cloud broker to provide a service to the cloud consumer. These are the different actors which will perform different actions in the NIST model. Then see you different examples of the cloud actors. First example one is a usage scenario for the cloud brokers. See here cloud consumer, cloud broker, cloud provider, one cloud provider, two. A cloud consumer may request service from a cloud broker instead of contacting a cloud provider directly. 
the cloud broker may create a new service by combining multiple services or by enhancing an existing service in this example the actual cloud provider are invisible to the cloud consumer and the cloud consumer interact directly with the broker not with the provider let's see that second example in this scenario uh, we are seeing the cloud carrier how it will be work cloud carriers provide this connectivity and transport of cloud services from the cloud provider to, to, to the cloud consumer a cloud provider participates in and arranges the for two unique service level agreements that we are calling as sla service level agreement one with a cloud carrier and one with the cloud consumer so if that uh, if the connection with the cloud provider with the carrier we are calling as SLA 1 and SLA 2. Here cloud consumer with the provider service level agreement 1. Provider with the carrier we are calling as a service level agreement 2. Dedicated and encrypted connection from the cloud provider to, to the consumer. And here cloud carrier to the provider capability, flexibility and functionality. So this will be the second scenario. Then third, user scenario for the cloud auditors. For a cloud service, a cloud auditor conducts independent assessment of the operation and security of the cloud service implementation. The audit may involve interaction with both the cloud consumer and the cloud provider. So the cloud auditor may be communicated with the consumer or provider for independent assessment of the operations and security of the cloud service implementation. Right? So, in this way, we are learning the cloud NIST model. We are also called as a cloud reference architecture. Thank you.